Although it has been almost two months since Typhoon Haiyan struck the Philippines, the Tsuji Foundation has continued to help those devastated by the disaster. On December 29th, Tsuji volunteers held their last relief distribution of the year in Tacloban City and were joined by the city mayor. Meanwhile, the volunteers also traveled to various neighborhoods to gain a better understanding of residents' needs. This is the scene at city's last aid distribution in Tacloban City before the New Year. Among the attendees is none other than the city's mayor. Inspired by city's spirit, the mayor happily joins the volunteers in prayer and helps canvas for donations. The uh, Chuchi Foundation is the only foundation I know that's giving outright cash to the people. And uh, that will also help uh, jumpstart the economy and it will also now give uh, some the people some sense of security and uh, make them feel better since most of them have lost almost everything. After the relief distribution, the volunteers take a chance to discuss with the mayor possible future collaboration. If you have the land for us to, to put up, According to the mayor, the central government has already started plans to rebuild certain areas of the city. However, there is still not a clear answer as to whether the coastal areas can be rebuilt or not. I have recommended that uh, some of the areas are uh, allowed to build but uh, no dwelling, meaning non-residential but uh, you can still build. Like we can build a park, we can build a stadium or we can build even public restrooms, but are definitely no dwelling. Next, the volunteers travel to Barangay 100 to conduct a disaster assessment, where they encounter many residents that had received city's assistance previously. Among the recipients is this man who's using the money from the cash for work program to build a temporary home. Masaya. I am very happy. My Christmas wish is fulfilled because all of my family members are safe and sound. Now we have a new home. Thank you, Tsuji Foundation, for your assistance. To make sure those that have yet to receive help can also have a roof over their heads, Tsuji volunteers travel from Barangay to Barangay to find a suitable location for the construction of Tsuji's prefab housings. We had a meeting with the city mayor this morning and he said that the city needs about 20,000 prefabricated houses. We asked him to take us to suitable building sites. If the locations are okay, we will deliver the information to Mr. Zhen Yan. Knowing the hardship disaster survivors are going through, city volunteers are trying to find a suitable building site as quickly as possible so residents can once again have a place to call home.